you do not belong in here. This is a no merchant and no Lalama zone. Stay away. something about that. guys right in here for now except you I'm gonna put you right down here there you go better. Hello, my colorful pretty is. We have plans. of our island is going to look so good. Maybe this should be our five minute Minecraft. could go for another tour. We've been doing a lot to make this place look beautiful. And if Ada ever shows up, her see how nice it is. It'd be neat to build a little sandstone house.
I wonder if this means the turtles will leave. They don't have any sand to play on. Storms come and go. These things used to be picked up a lot easier. It's a baby cow with a big head.
soft shaking of the sand. Always so therapeutic. Again, this stuff's going a lot faster than I thought it would. And uh, I'm going to mess around here. I have a whole lot of dirt to use. So I'm gonna. is going to run out soon enough. Yeah, we're probably not going to be able to get our full half mark. But that's okay. Yes, I did just say full half. quite realize just how much you're knocking until you look at that inventory. Okay, that's the cobblestone. And that's the stuff that takes just a little bit longer to knock out. Eagerly anticipate. Seeing just how far we can get with this. Pickaxe, don't fail me now. Look at that. That's pretty much our goal. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of the sand and the sandstone and get ourselves a whole bunch of dirt. You stay. Plant dirt. Mm. 
we're going to want an obscene amount. That'll get us through something. And technically, we don't really need a bunch of shovels for what we're doing here. Hmm. Aww. Gotta take you in. Come on. If your kid wants to come, your kid is free. Haha, <laughs> two sheep for one. Alright, come on. You must be the dad sheep. Thank you. I did not expect to find another one so soon. Okay, look, I'm not really trying to wrangle all of you guys. Not tonight. Come on in. Get in here. Okay. There. Now. Back to our previously scheduled program. So much dirt.
I imported dirt just to expand my island. Also, we want to make sure there's something stable on top of the gravel. What am I going to do with all this space? <sighs> I'm going to take it to Disney World. the villagers look like Disney princesses and Donald Duck I do not want a Disney world here Technically, I can work on evening, <laughs> evening, evening, <laughs> evening that out. I can work on leveling that later. Level.
Looking so good. It's a little incredible just how quickly all this dirt goes. At least it's a lot easier to dig up than cobblestone. Sometimes, when I'm not talking while doing this, I'm really conscious of saying, that I feel like it's easier to stream while playing this, because you can at least describe what you're doing, there's plenty to talk about. And then I just get so entranced. Laying dirt on the ground. Hard to believe all of this used to be not only hill terrain, but covered in giant trees. And to think, I was so upset when I was younger, that a forested area I loved was basically knocked down. Of course, there's a different principle to that. This is my land. No one else has been on this land. And, 
And I say I'm doing stuff with this land. I'm knocking these trees down for a reason. To do something. And I'm doing it. <clears throat> That's right, former neighbors. I hold a grudge. Sure, I was just some... Lonely kid screwing around on your property. But those trees meant a lot to me. Being able to camp there... Or just... Relax there during the day, alone... That meant a lot to me. The cover of the trees. I can't really complain that the person who owns the place decides to do what they want with their land. It's just... <laughs> when it's been, what, 15 to 20 years? And you can still go back there and see that nothing has been done with the land? All you've done is just knock down a bunch of trees. I really hate that. Rain changes over time, and that's okay. Everything isn't what it used to be. It isn't what we knew it as, and that's okay. anything. Podzol? What is Podzol? go back when I visit home. <laughs> and I'm just going to see the same thing. An empty space. camped in, the land I explored. It had so many beautiful trees. And they're just gone. Shoved into giant piles and... left to rot or burn.
And now I'm thinking... I mean, I don't know how old they were. But... I mean, one set of the neighbors... Back then... Had to have been about the age that I am right now. They had two kids who were about the same age my kids are. Maybe older. And to own land like that, they probably weren't in their low 20s. So, looking at my parents' ages, and the time and everything, it's like, these guys have to be... in their late 40s, maybe 50s, at best, by now. Like, they're the same age. that their parents who lived up the road were. But that doesn't really mean anything here. Everyone's older now. I've always refused to use Facebook it's my belief that if somebody cares about me my life if they're a friend they're going to be around. I mean, that's the weird thing about social media and the evolution of it. When I was a kid, I had no problem with things like message boards. online chatting because it's like that's what <laughs> opened up into friendships you start talking to strangers you get to know each other maybe we're all who we say we are then after that, I mean, there were some people you just talked to there. 
But after that, you do things like trade emails. So you're talking more personally. For the brave, you trade phone numbers. You eventually call each other up. Maybe you end up meeting in person. Some people did that. The point being, that's connection. As I saw it. But, I mean, things like Facebook, it always felt like you're just posting your life. Anyone can just come along, look at it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, you can mess with privacy settings, I get that. But the point being, people who aren't part of your life, people who don't know you, even if they went to school with you or whatever, they can look you up, they can see what's gone on in your life without getting to know you still. It already felt like that's what a lot of school was. There were a lot of people who didn't bother to get to know me. There were some times when people would try for a little bit. I mean, I still had defensive walls. And not the best understanding of human dynamics. It probably would have been a whole lot healthier to... ...to understand that... You need to learn how to be friends with people. <clears throat> Before you're starting serious relationships. But that wasn't something that was really explained. I barely knew how to deal with my friends. And you're just an outcast to most of the people. You have a few friends, but... You think it'll mean so much more if somebody loves you. Somebody's willing to spend a life with you. I mean, that's the kind of... ...mindset I sort of grew up with. Yes, I'm getting distracted from my Facebook point. If people want to be my friend, <laughs> the best way for them to do it is to talk to me. Get to know me. I keep 
running into instances where I work. Maybe not so much now, because I don't <clears throat> really have much of a social life going. There are some people who I open up to, and then there are other people who instead of asking me about me, what do they do? They go to someone else. Like, what's with him? How about you ask me? I'm a fairly open person. I mean, there are things that, that I'm not telling anybody, but... I've got a lot of open knowledge that I'm very willing to share. And everything just feels so distant. All of that to say, I had a friend who was Facebook surfing one night. I mean, there were people in school he didn't get along with, didn't talk to, <laughs> as far as I knew, had no interest in. I mean, there were a lot of guys we all knew. And then, he's trying to tell me about what these people are doing with their life. What they've done, who they are now. And I was someone who was picked on in school. I wasn't really well liked by people. They weren't my friends. There were some guys who were jerks most of the time. And occasionally we'd get along. And there are some guys who I remember being forced into scenarios where we sort of had to hang out. <laughs> and for a day, it worked. It was really easy to do. You're out of town, you're with somebody who you don't normally hang out with, you see that they're cool, but then this weird thing happens where once you go back to your normal lives... That's... how it is. You hung out with this person once, that's the end of it. It didn't usually bond us forever or anything like that. So when somebody's trying to tell me about someone who didn't care about me at all, someone who didn't get to know me, someone who didn't talk except to make fun of something, what do I care that they did anything with their life? I mean, it's not like I was hoping anything bad happened to any of them. I didn't. We left school on good terms, but they're not my friends. If you went from being a twig person to being super buff, so what? How does that affect my life? What do I care? If somebody... 
ends up making a whole lot of money, what do I care? I mean, I'm not going to be asking for it. It's not going to benefit me. It doesn't change the type of person they are, in my eyes anyway. I mean, they could have changed, but... It It's like having money didn't suddenly make you impressive to me. Getting muscles doesn't make you impressive to me. These are still people who have their own lives and they're doing whatever they're doing. And it's still without me in it. So what do I do? I mean, if I get Facebook, what then? Somebody... quote-unquote, friends me so that they can look at pictures and word posts of my life. So they can look from the outside? You are already looking from the outside. While I was trying to figure out things and wondering why everybody didn't like me, I'm not interested in people who aren't going to put in the effort. All that being said, I know the kind of person I am. Not the same as I know me. I know the kind of things that I didn't tell my friends because of fear, worry over judgment, because You don't think that people will understand or accept I wonder if there were any other people like that who I know Maybe other people who were a different kind of weird. <laughs> other people who seemed to have their stuff together. I wonder how many of them... ...were lost to. They didn't know exactly who they were, or how to express who they were. And there's someone completely unrecognizable today. I'd kind of like to know that. Anyway. That's just sort of a rant.
It's been a weird life. I wonder how many of these people who I wasn't friends with could be a friend now. That'd be interesting to know. Okay. As for recording, I need to stop this one. Look at all that. We put in all that. <laughs> I like what we have here. It's nice. <laughs>